A special thank you to each of our subscribers who make this channel possible. Here's today's story. In a surprising twist in the world of music and social media, pop star Lily Allen has revealed that her side hustle selling pictures of her feet on OnlyFans has outstripped her earnings from Spotify streams. The singer, known for her hit, Smile, launched her feet-centric page on OnlyFans in July after discovering her high ranking on WikiFeet. This revelation has ignited conversations about the changing landscape of artist revenues in the digital age. On October 25th, Allen took to social media to respond to a critical comment regarding her OnlyFans venture. The comment questioned her status as a major musician, stating, Imagine being one of the biggest pop stars slash musicians in Europe and then being reduced to this. Allen fired back with a clever retort, saying, Imagine being an artist and having nearly 8 million monthly listeners on Spotify, but earning more money from having 1,000 people subscribe to pictures of your feet. Don't hate the player, hate the game. With a subscription fee of $10 per month, Allen reportedly earns around $10,000 monthly from her OnlyFans account, based on an estimated 1,000 subscribers. In contrast, Spotify's 2023 data indicates that only about 66,000 artists made $10,000 or more in streaming royalties over the year. According to data from kworb.net, Allen's daily Spotify streams reached approximately 851,623 as of mid-October, translating to an estimated daily revenue of $4,077. This revenue is divided among various parties, including copyright owners and songwriters. During a recent episode of her podcast, Miss Me, Allen shared how her OnlyFans page came to fruition. She revealed, I have a lady that comes and does my nails. They inform me that I have five stars on WikiFeet, which is quite rare. My feet are rated quite highly on the internet. Allen also discussed her husband, David Harbour's, reaction to her new venture, noting that he initially wondered if it was a kink for her. She clarified, no, it's totally not a kink, but maybe there's something in the power element of it that's slightly kinky for me. Her journey into the world of foot photography began with a playful Instagram post featuring her feet by a fountain in Italy, where she cheekily captioned it with La Dolce Fida. The popularity of her OnlyFans account has sparked debates about the viability of alternative revenue streams for artists in the current music industry landscape. As streaming services continue to dominate, many artists are exploring unique ways to monetize their content. Allen's experience serves as a case study of how traditional avenues of income are being challenged by new platforms and unconventional ideas. The singer's candidness about her earnings and the dynamics of her career has resonated with fans and critics alike, prompting discussions about the future of music and the ways artists can sustain their livelihoods. With the rise of platforms like OnlyFans, it appears that the definition of success in the entertainment industry is evolving as artists seek to leverage their unique talents and personal brands in innovative ways. That's all for this story. We upload videos every day covering many different subjects, so hit that subscribe button to stay informed. Thanks for watching.